Didier Lawan is a leading terrorism researcher at the Royal Military Academy of Belgium. I spoke to him earlier in Brussels and asked him about the symbolism behind the attacks there. Well, Brussels is a highly symbolic target for such attacks because, of course, uh, it's the capital of Europe. Uh, two types of targets were taken specifically, the airport and there the inter international dimension is pretty obvious. The other target was the Malbec metro station, which is uh, mostly associated with uh, the uh, EU uh, civil servants uh, from the Commission and the Parliament. You say that Belgian jihadists don't necessarily fit a general profile, but what do we know about them? Well, it's a very difficult uh, uh, thing to, to assess. Um, we have a watch list in Belgium with about 1,000 names of uh, potentially dangerous individuals. Uh, you have a wide uh, array of profiles on this list, so of course the really dangerous ones would be uh, a very, uh, very low percentage of uh, this number. Uh, but what is significant uh, from this uh, pool of names is that more than 80% of them are of Moroccan uh, ascent. So here there is a, 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 an important trend that needs to be surveyed. Uh, of course, you have political factors of radicalizations, religious ones, and socio-economic ones. But I think one of the keys to understand why these factors are stronger with certain individuals than with others is the psychological aspect of things. Why the draw uh, there in, in that country uh, for so many foreign fighters? Because we see so many uh, leaving, going to fight in Syria, and then returning home. Well, Belgium is not the only country re which is affected in, uh, in Western Europe. Uh, um, countries like France or Germany or even the Netherlands have also high, uh, high ratios. But it is true that in Belgium we have provided the biggest uh, contingent of foreign fighters in connection with uh, Syria and Iraq at the EU scale. Uh, this is probably uh, connected to the, to the big uh, community of Muslim citizens here coming in majority from uh, the Moroccan uh, immigration waves from the 1960s, which is a, an immigration wave which has suffered more than other waves of immigration in Belgium for economic context. Uh, crisis in the 70s uh, has also affected, uh, has notably affected this, uh, this community and has uh, avoided the previous ones like the Italians, the Spaniards, the Albanians and so on, or the Turkish. You mentioned a thousand names on the watch list uh, and you talked about a number of different factors. So if you're in law enforcement, what's the right approach to this? Well, it is very difficult to say. We are facing, obviously, uh, a problem of magnitude. The, the, the problem of foreign fighters has always existed and will always exist. Uh, the problem is, is that it's the first time in history that we are facing such a huge amount of, uh, of individuals uh, in connection with uh, this topic. And uh, if you can imagine a, a watch list of 1,000 names, you can very easily understand why it's not feasible to monitor all these individuals 24-7. It's just not human.